Attention all. Attention all. It is with great pleasure I would like to announce that the recipient of this year's prestigious GE Fellowship Award is none other than our very own Liz Lemon. Wait, how could Liz win a fellowship award? She doesn't like people. No, fellowship presented annually to the woman, sorry, person who best exemplifies a follower. I'm not a follower. It also comes with 10 grand. I accept this proudly on behalf of followers everywhere. When I think of the free-spirited Liz Lemon I met just one year ago, so resistant to product integration, cross-promotion, and adverlingus, it pleases me to see how well she's learned to follow. Oh, is this because of that GE sketch? He has a microwave forehead. But it's such an excellent GE microwave. You said I didn't have a choice. So what are you gonna do with your money? Put it into a 401k? Yeah, I gotta get one of those. What? Where do you invest your money, Liz? I have like 12 grand in checking. Are you an immigrant? And his foot lingered. Oh, that is such an upsetting story. Oh, God, I'll never watch Happy Days the same way again. But you know, I miss live TV. It's, it's like sex, you know? It's almost better when everything goes horribly wrong. <laughs> well, you know, we do hire guest writers every now and then. I mean, I don't know if that's something you would ever be interested in. That'd be great. God, I haven't been in that building in so long. Does everyone still do Blow in Joe Garagiola's office? Which one is Blow? Again, is that cocaine? All right, uh, what's in the news this week, everybody? Any ideas? I have an idea. We open on a New Orleans abortion clinic. A beautiful mulatto. I, I don't think we're allowed to use any of those words. Why not? It's live television. I mean, we used to say and no, you didn't. Did you? We did. We pushed the envelope. Remember the mailbox sketch that shocked America? There's nothing wrong here. Don't you get it? The mailbox was Haldeman. Is, is that a person who lived? I, what about race? I mean, I, I say that yeah. is the last taboo. We get Josh in blackface, right? Yeah. And then we get Tracy to call him a <laughs> I'd watch that. No, no, no. We, uh, you can't do race stuff on TV. It's too sensitive. On, we would have done that on, on the Mandrell sisters. Well, I, I, I want the show to be edgy, too. I mean, but I, my boss, Jack Donaghy. Let me talk to him. I am great with suits. No, 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 we, uh, we don't talk to him. We don't do that. Liz, you're not a cog in their machine. I know. I'm not some follower. I just, we are very subversive on this show. Frank, what do you have this week? Uh, Barry the Humping Dog is shopping for a GE washer and dryer. I have not seen that before. That's a very good, sharp idea. Hey, props gave me a bunch of dog penises for you to look at. Oh, great, thanks. Liz, your grandmother is in Jack's office. You better do something. Nana Lemon? That's weird. Oh, oh no. Rosemary. <laughs> Lemon, Rosemary here was just telling me some of her fantastic sketch ideas. Liz, he totally gets it. He understands that what we do is far more important than what they do. I do. I, I really do get it. Rosemary, thank you so very oh, much. Oh, no, my pleasure. What a pleasure. What fun <laughs> catching up with you. You do. You take care yeah, now. You do. <laughs> Fire her. And don't ever make me talk to a woman that old again. I can't fire Rosemary. Yes, you can. It's easy. Observe. Jonathan, you're fired. What? No! What now? No, I, I won't fire her. It's mean. And I like her. And she's right. We should be pushing the envelope. Oh, God. Push the envelope. You know who uses that phrase? People don't have the guts or the brains to work inside the system. Letter writers, radicals. Howard Dean. You just don't get her. You're like the talking mailbox. I'm going to assume that's a Haldeman reference, in which case, I thank you. I got into this business to be like Rosemary, to make people think. No, 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 no. <laughs> you got into this business because you're funny and you're weird and you're socially retarded, and you also got into it because it pays well, which means you are not like Rosemary. You are like me. No, I'm not. You are a suit. You feed off the creativity and hard work of other people and turn it into commercials and, and pie charts and triangle graphs. What's a triangle graph? I don't know. It sounded real. This is my show. No, 
This is my show. And once a week, I rent it out to the good people at the erectile dysfunction companies. Be that as it may, Rosemary is my idol. And if you want to get rid of her, then you will fire me also. Oh, suck it up, nerd. <laughs>